Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. In this Flutter development tutorial, we're going to show you how you can interact with the rows. In other words, you can press on a row and highlight that row with an icon and press it again and reset the highlighted row. Okay, so here we do have my tutorial here. We are down to where are we at number seven adding interaction here. Once I've done the tutorial, the code will be uploaded to GitHub. So if you just want to start this particular episode, you can or enable you that. And for people who do want to just follow the description of the tutorial here, they can. It's free membership just to sign up, just to access this particular documentation. Okay, so we will make a start. So we'll jump into our um, Android Studio here. Right, so what I'm going to do here is create a new value here. It'll be just set once here, and we'll call this saved. It's going to be of the instance of the class set. And that's going to take a type of WordPress. So set does support types. Okay, and the special thing about the set class if I press F1 it's basically what it's saying here it just supports unique values it will remove any duplicates from the list that wasn't entirely clear in this documentation here but that's what it, basically what it does it just allows us to create unique elements in our list now I'm going to create a new value underneath here, make it just um, set it once inside this function every time the function is called. Uh, make it private. I'm going to say is already saved. And from here we'll call our saved and call contains and pass in the pair. And so what we're doing, a check here. Uh, let's try F1 he here again to see if the documentation. It's So basically it returns true if the value is in the set. So it returns a Boolean is what I wanted to highlight. So this will be a Boolean value here. Right. Now we can go into our under, under our title here. And this is where we can add uh, icon to our list tile. And you can, uh, we're going to call training, which just means the icon is going to appear after the text. Okay, I'm going to create an icon instance. Just enter a new line down here. And this is where we can call our is already saved Boolean value. I'm going to put a question mark. This is like, a bit like doing if or else. So if this Boolean value is true, already saved, we can return an icon. So it's icons keyword, I'm going to select favorite. And you would, I'll highlight this, but the little hearts disappeared there to the left. Okay. And the else, by putting in a colon, we can set the icons, favorite border. Okay, so there's two types of icons. One's a full, fully colored icon, one's just an empty icon with a border. Okay, and we can also add a color. And again, I'm going to use the Boolean just to decide which color, if or not, it's been saved or not. So we can use our is already saved. Is, if it is already saved, we can highlight that color by just calling colors and setting it with a red color. And do, do need to put the colon on there. And if it's not already saved, we can just set that to null. Okay. And I've already got the application running here. So what I'm going to do is just press um, Command S on a Mac for a hot reswap. Re and as you can see, the hearts have now appeared there. Now we're going to add on tap functionality. Basically, click on a row and it'll do something. And again, that's, this will go inside our list tile. So I will put it underneath the icon and it's called on tap and basically it's going to take what we call anonymous function. So it doesn't have a name and in this case it doesn't have any parameters either. 
and we'll just put curly braces on the end there. Okay, and just before I set up the on tap here, I just want to basically call set state. And again, this takes an anonymous function as well. Um, what set state will do is basically it will update our UI. So every time our um, we press tap on the screen, we're also going to call the framework to tell it to update the UI. And now we can actually do a check to see if or not um, it's been saved. So we do, do a conditional check by calling is already saved. And I'm just going to use the same notation as what we did before. So if it if we have already saved the item there, we want to remove it. So we'll call our saved saved list down here and we call remove and it's the pair the word pair there so if it's not already saved we can add it so it's just the opposite add word pair with the pair I need to put a semicolon on in there and notice down there there was a warning I pressed F2 but we need a semicolon there and I've just already pressed uh, command save it's force of habit I do it all the time I have to be careful of that for these tutorials so I've already done a hot swap reload so all we need to do is uh, click on the display there and as you can see the icons are being saved if we click again they do get removed so basically that just proves our on tap is working and we are basically changing the color icons as well and it's just deciding we're just basically um, pushing things onto the saved list and pulling them off just on the button clicks and that concludes this flutter tutorial where we made our application interactive uh, what we did first of all was set up a set list and that's a list that this creates unique items that won't put any duplicates in there and then from that list we actually created a another value that checked or checked whether or not there was a element inside that list and then from there we went into our list tile and from inside our list tile first of all we added icons next to our text and then we set colors for those icons as well and and that actual icons themselves which were done in heart shape they're called favorites so we decided whether or not we had enabled items on that list quite straightforward and finally we added tap support by just calling on tap and the key thing to note there is we called a set state so every time the display was pressed we would send a um, signal across to the framework just to refresh our ui as well and again inside the on tap that was when we can add or remove items from our set list anyway so that concludes this tutorial um, if you do want to get notified of the tutorials that i'm working on don't forget to click on that subscribe button and I do make lots of updates to Twitter and Facebook as well, just the various activities I'm working on. I'll put a handle above there, so just in case you need to get hold of me there. And anyway, um, I don't actually, I rarely respond to uh, YouTube questions, but um, I'm quite busy. But I am, uh, I do make time available on what's on our Code Mentor site there, and that's what I pay provide paid consultancy I'll free up time for my other activities just to provide paid for consultancy for those of you who want help with it learning um, flutter dart Android etc or if you need help on your projects as well anyway that completes this one thank you for taking the time for watching bye for now